Hello and welcome. My name is FM Jingus and I am a very big football fan. I'm a very big football manager fan. And I decided to start off FM21 to try and create save for YouTube. And I decided to start off with Bologna FC in Serie A. Now, I'm pretty new to all this stuff, so it might take some time before I figure out a very good blend of how to do recordings for YouTube regarding Football Manager. Just be aware of that in the beginning. So I want to welcome you all to this, and I hope you will follow for the ride. I think this will be a pretty fun save to do. So this will be my beta save. So for the upcoming two weeks, I'll try and have a video every single day, but we'll try and create one or two seasons. My goal is to take Bologna to Europe for this season, try my best at that, and then uh, try to focus on actually going through the group stages in Europe. If we go to Europa League, we might actually have a chance of winning that whole tournament if everything goes as planned. Champions League, we won't be able to win, I think. That would be pretty fun if we did, but I don't think we will be able to. Uh, my plan for the league is, of course, to qualify for, for Europe, and I actually want to win one of the, the Cups in Italy. Um, as you can see, we have put pen on paper to a two-year deal worth uh, 25,500 euros per week. Regarding face packs and logos and so forth, I'm not going to use that uh, for the beta save, because we don't know how that will affect the, the beta. Uh, but, when, but once the full game is out, we'll try and use that. Okay, so the main tactic that we will use is uh, 4 3 3 with 3 midfielders. Um, so, no CDM, no CAM, just 4 central midfielders. We're gonna start with Skrupskin goal, Dykes at left back, Danilo, Tomajasi, De Silvestri, Soviano, Medel, Poli, Sansone, Barrow, and Palacio. This is the first team. I would love to get in another center back, but we'll have to see. We don't have a lot of money, and I don't think we'll be able to bring in a very good, uh, very good one. So we'll have to see. And but this is the main tactic that we will use. I have set up set pieces as well. And this is how corners are looking for right now on both the right and the left spot. We have a small difference here, but nothing too major. And I have setting up for all types of uh, free kicks as well. So if you have anything you want to look at that, just pause the video and you can see for yourself. So in three days time we have a match against Parma. And then we have a few couple of games up till Crotona. And we can finish off with the Parma game, and I will be looking at signing some players around here. If you have any players that you want me to sign, write them in the comments, and I will come back to it as soon as I can. I have a couple of players in mind, but I might not be able to sign them all. Now, they have changed a lot of things, which we probably could have seen on the tactics already. They don't have the percentages any longer. For every role, they are also adding, uh, as we can see here on Poli, they have added stars instead of the green circles. So all green circles, all percentages are gone. They have also added this video here so we can see what the box box midfielder will do. I'm expecting this is a play that will be very tired, so we'll have to wait and see. And he will run a lot. So that's really good just to get the first grip of what this is all about. As you can see, we are playing a very short passing style. We are playing fairly narrow. We're playing a classic tiki-taka. And play out of defense. Play for set pieces. I mean, we do have pretty good set piece takers, but I don't want to play for them. Uh, unless we have to, I don't want them to dribble a lot, even if we could earn some free kicks if we do dribble, so it could be both, that could be pretty decent. Work well in the box, well, Palacio is very good in the box, so I think that's pretty fine. And when it comes to the in transition game, I want to counter press and I do want to counter, not the whole shape. Distribute quickly, of course, to the center backs or to the, or to the full backs. This doesn't really matter as long as they don't take it long. And for the out of possession, I do want to have the offside trap. And I do want to play much higher, much higher. And as I said, the player that I used to play with uh, when I was younger is Matthias Swanberg. And we used to play for two or three years, and I've basically known him since he was six years old. Went through the same school, uh, we played on some summer camps together, and then we actually ended up in the same team for two or three years. He was a very good player back then as well. Uh, and it's been really fun to see him grow, and he has a very nice potential ability on this team, so that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself to the squad here. And they have changed this a lot, so I hope that you will find this interesting. Uh, I really like this this new over ramp over ramp system. It's really really nice. So I'm gonna introduce myself as the manager. They're all very happy with that. Andrea Poli, on behalf of the team, I would like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your management. 
And I'm not going to do any, I don't want to make any promises for now, but I don't want to talk about our expect but I do want to talk about our expectations for the season. I don't think it's a good idea to go out GR1 with promises because you don't really know what will happen. Because they do change a lot of the systems regarding the current situation. So with Corona they have changed the amount of money you have when you start the game in season one and how much money you will earn. Uh, so then for season two everything will be back for normal but during season one they have a lot of changes due to Corona. I think we can finish in the top half this season. Uh, that is my, my goal, at least, finish in the top half. Most of them do agree with me. It's a bit sad that Bignato doesn't agree with me, but everyone else looks pretty happy about it. Uh, raise hands. This is the new system with gestures instead of moves. So we have kick chair. Kick chair in an aggressive outburst intended to shock. Press arms in an aggressive manner. Point finger assertively. Wave hand in an open, convincing manner. Raise hand palm facing out to pacify. So I'm going to wave hand in convincing manner, uh, and I'm going to go off. I'm very confident that we can do what I've said, and I won't settle for anything less than your best in helping us achieve it. Most of the players did get a very good morale boost from this. Okay, this is bad, everyone. Fugnato has already gotten an injury, which is not good. Not good at all. Um, I'm going to send him to the specialist, because I do want him to get healthy directly. I'm going to talk to Fugnato directly, and we will see a new window again. It's a bit sad that we can't use Fugnato in this match, but we should be fine either way. A oh, pretty good squad, so we'll just have to wait and see. And they're putting up a pretty good squad here. Cyprian, Cornelius, Brunetta, Kertic, Cagliolo, Luigi Seppi is also very good. And we have a pretty good bench as well. So this will be a hard, um, hard starting match, but we will do our best here. I am predicting a win, but it could be very, very close. I will play in the 3D engine because it is updated and it looks really, really nice. This is also completely new. I'm going to pause the game here. Um, I'm going to play on director with match speed during highlights a bit faster, key highlights only. Here we see the Parma formation. We will actually see them update everything that happens here. So this is how they start up. We can use our wingers very nicely here. So I might want to go out on the wings more in the tactic. This will help you a lot in the setup of how you will play. You will also see what type of uh, roles these guys had. Uh, you can also see where they are playing mostly. Focus of attack. The dugout just gives you some four minutes, well, some updates during the game. Uh, you have here your match stats, and as you can see, XG, expected goals, very nice to have. It would be very infuriating if you lose games. Uh, and then you have the team out here. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see on this one. Uh, I'm actually going to go to instructions right away and focus place on the wings because I do feel like that will help us out. Just having some pretty nice control of the ball here. Very good ball over to. Barrows back to Dykes. Out to Barrows again. Very nice lineup there. And to Palacio, goal here. Almost. I'm a bit sad that Palacio tried to shoot there. They're both going up here with Kartic. So Parma is on defensive. Very nice ball behind the back line. Very good defensive recovery as well. Long shot. Very easy to save. Samsone in the middle. No, out to Sylvester again. In towards Spatio, who won't win any handers. He's not that tall. He's just like south of 180. Um, well, yeah, south of 180. That's a very nice goal by Paul. Very, very nice goal. That was fantastic. That's a shot that should never go in, really. That was really something special. Wow. Perfect ball from Dykes in towards. I believe it's Dykes who should have been. Yeah. Very nice ball from Dykes, and first touch was extremely well to be able to shoot that for the second touch. That was really nice. If we can play like that, it would be very hard to stop us. Barris running forward. He's not in inside forward, inside winger. That was really nice. Pagliat, ooh, that has to be a goal. That has to be a goal. Jesus. Corner here, towards the back. A bit too long. Barris with the ball again. I would have been a big surprise for me. I did not think it would be this good for us. Uh, so I, I'm pretty happy with that play out there. I was a bit worried about that side, but it's been really good here. Silvestri almost went past. Oh, that's a poor one. That should have been a better shot as well. Get them, we win another corner.
yeah, I really feel like passing, passing focus tactics in this year's game would be very powerful, just because of how the new match ending works. Very good move, very decent shot as well. So yeah, playing with the deep lane playmaker and uh, Masala, which gives us a very good amount of space on the wings, so I'm happy with that. This should be a goal here, yeah. That was a very bad marking, uh, we should have put down Larini more on that one. They're playing very well, everyone seems to be happy, I'm gonna skip it. I mean, who is that? It looks like it's Dyke. Oh, what a play. That was really good defensively as well, from Parma's side. If the match sounds are too loud, just tell me in the comments and we'll work that out as well. This Silvestri, back to Pauli, Soriano, Pauli. This is Silvestri. And that's a goal. Really, really, oh, that's upside. Mmm, that sucks. Alessia has to do better there. Even if he's 38 years old, he should be able to outspeed from that sort of angle. Yeah, that's that's poor. That's poor. Here, um, here you can see how they have updated the way they play. And uh, with the exact, um, exact roles that you have as well. That was a really good shot. Really good shot. Samson with the ball towards Paris, who misses it, and it goes back down to Danilo, out to Dykes. Dykes running around. Oh, that's a good to Poli. Shoot from there. Oh! <laughs> that's a nice goal. That's a really good goal. Holy! That's fantastic. What a strike! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Barros and Sansona are getting a bit tired. Probably as well. I'm gonna let them play for right now. Silvestri is really tired. And we'll see if Silvestri gets back up to, to fitness. If not, we'll have to switch him out. Silvestri has an injury. Silvestri got groin injury, so we'll have to take him off. I'm gonna put him in Bay, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I do want to take out Medel as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put in Shelton there. Let's put in Shelton in a ball winning position. You should have the stats for that. I'm gonna put in Santander instead of Flaccio. Oh my. <laughs> that was a terrible angle, but that was really nice. Rusa Barros free one to us. Let's see from this angle again. This is not a very good angle. That's a very nice he header though, very nice header. We should be out of this, I don't think, even if we score one more goal, we should be able to win this one. And this is just a preseason game, so it doesn't really matter, but let's get a feel for the game. What in the world was that? That was terrible. Karamoa with the easiest goal of his career. Easily. Wow. This is terrible. That's terrible defending. Terrible defending. Oh my. Well, we're gonna win 3-2 here. That was a very nice game to play. Let's see, Silvestri is out for one to three days. So, with that, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time.